All right. I guess the ARIA Awards is basically a week away now, very, very close. How's it all lining up from your point of view? Yeah, I think it's very exciting. You know, it's always a, a mixture of excitement and, uh, and anxiety, but uh, I think that the show's come together really well this year and it's a great crop of artists that have been nominated this year. Yeah. So we're very lucky that we were able to choose from such a, just a diverse mix of great artists and it's feeling really good. Yeah. I guess ARIA Week is a new concept this year. How is that shaping up? It kicks off Monday. Is it is it falling into place like you thought it would or is it? Well actually even better than, than we thought you know it was really trying to make the uh, you know coming to Sydney and for the ARI Awards and extending the time people up there and if the, if the whole industry from Australia and increasingly international are coming together for the awards then why not try and extend that out uh, yeah. to you know talk about some of the uh, the issues that are going to help drive the industry forward and also showcase a few more of the artists that are, that are hopefully going to be at future yeah, ARI Awards. Yeah. So it's come together fantastically. I mean, the shows, showcases on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night that we're having look awesome. And, you know, a range of major labels and indie labels and Triple J and, and yourself. I trust you're coming to our one with Templeton. And, Absolutely. Uh, May I'll be at them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No, that's come together fantastically. And then the ARIA Masterclass on the Monday, uh, really excited about the uh, the speakers that we have there. We have a lot of international speakers. You know, Spotify is bringing their artists in residence from New York. We have the head of YouTube for Asia Pacific, the head of Vivo International, uh, and uh, plus some really great local speakers. So I, I hope it's going to be something of, of benefit to the industry. Do you think the dialogue in the industry is what's giving our week a little bit of a better skew rather than perhaps the Opera House gigs that were, were trialled a couple of years ago? Yeah, I, I think... Um, we're trying to make sure that we balance both sides of the industry. You know, obviously talking about we represent labels and, and recording artists. And we want to make sure that ARIA can help set the agenda and push the agenda forward for how do we continue to innovate and how do we continue to grow our industry. Uh, and you know, I think that mixed in with the showcases. And well, the showcases are not just about nominated artists, but you know, about what we think might you know what our label members think uh, might be the next generation of artists coming through that can hopefully win arias in the future. Yeah, and I guess you know there's a few conferences going around that are gathering a bit of steam at the moment. Obviously, Face the Music here now yeah. and Big Sound are, it's getting quite prominent. Did you think about that and what you wanted to add on to that was already happening in terms of not so much the EMC, yeah. but the, the master class and that sort of thing? Yeah, I, certainly. I mean. We're massive supporters of, of both Big Sound and, and Face the Music, and you know, we're here to supporting it. And you know, I don't think it's trying to um, it's trying to augment those and really do something specifically around record labels and recording artists, which is which is what where the space that we play, and really focus on the opportunities and, and the areas that we focused on. Uh, Asia is, is a big focus for us to see how do our um, members embrace Asia and, and take the opportunity from that digital as well. Label services, how, how, how are record labels evolving? Uh, so we think there's a space to play there. Yeah. Last year was a really good, was widely considered a success as a rebuilding year for the R Awards. It's yeah. a good TV figures, that sort of thing. Is there a mark you want to hit this year with the awards? I think number one, we want to continue to build on uh, making sure that it's something that uh, honours our artists in a credible and respectful way. Uh, that's number one. And number two, if we can you know, expose these artists to as many people as possible around Australia. And I think what we proved last year is that it's not just, you know, it's TV audience is really important, but it's also digital audience and print audience. It's about ex expanding our footprint across all of the mediums. So I just want to continue to build on what we did last year.